students welcome to today's class today we will learn about changes happening around us and some of its examples students i want you to imagine if you suddenly get some magical powers maybe you want to build a huge castle surrounded by long green gardens imagine you have fire breathing dragons to protect your kingdom against your enemies or maybe you want to have an unlimited supply of ice creams and chocolates using your magical powers or maybe you want to be able to fly on a carpet like aladdin and travel all around the world or perhaps with your magical powers you want to become invisible and play some tricks on your best friend what an amazing idea right to be able to change so much about you and the world now we do not have such magical powers of course but we can still change a few things around us perhaps many things do you think that there are things you can change around you without any magic involved of course there are Many changes are taking place around us on their own. In the fields, the crops change from time to time. If you observe a tree or a plant for a period of time, you will see that sometimes new leaves grow, old leaves fall from the trees. They change their color and they dry out. Sometimes flowers are blooming. and at some other time maybe a fruit is growing even the flowers bloom and then they wither away not just in nature you must have noticed many changes happening in your own body have you seen how your nails grow if you don't cut it for a long time even your hair height and weight increases as you grow up did you realize earlier that so many changes are taking place around you all the time now imagine that your hair has grown too long and your mother takes you to get a haircut all of a sudden you have shorter hair that is a visible change or when people grow older their hair changes into a gray color or students if you have a blank paper in front of you then you draw a sketch on it using a pencil that is also a change then you take an eraser and erase the sketch again that is also a change You may have seen if you put chocolate out in the sun for a long time it melts Similarly ice also melts and once when you put them back in the refrigerator it hardens once again Converting milk into curd and paneer is also a change
when you make the batter mix for a cake and you put it in the oven after getting baked the cake has also undergone a change so we see that change is actually all around us sometimes even some metals expand upon heating tools like an axe or a shovel are often joined to their wooden bodies by heating the iron portion then they are allowed to cool down upon which it shrinks back to its original size so a change may occur by heating a substance or by mixing it with some other also if we take another example where we take a piece of paper and burn it using a match stick it turns into ashes now this is also a change one in which the end product is a completely different one so we see that there are so many types of changes all around us some happen within our bodies some outside some can be reversed some cannot some substances expand and some contract some give completely new substances whereas some end up with the same thing maybe in a different form so we see that there are so many different types of changes can some of the changes be grouped together how can we group various changes maybe if we find some similarities in them we can group them together in the next class we will see some of these types of changes along with some new examples so students that brings us to an end of today's class i hope that you enjoyed learning thank you